They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls. Just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough.
way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. You'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Enemy behind you, Kratos! Find you! Look out! Huh! <laughs> 
You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Seedrin when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother.
Okay. I feel something. Stronger this time. Over here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. We in our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Having that way outside. Look at me. Ah. 
looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. know it all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! Oh! <laughs> 
well. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom! <laughs> This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. 
Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? Mm. I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Mm. Babbling! Official. My boy. I feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Walter, come back! Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itching carcass. I'm quite serious, brother. Come and collect me. Mimi! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a damn until you turned off! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counsel of us, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scotty? To grow up? Or to Tanya? No! You! Oh, to the side of the power of the You! Mother, watch out! There's more of us! Even now, you see a fiery god in me, and you can't help but aid him! Call him brother! It's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you drop off your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why must you see him the way he wants to be seen? That's all I have to do. 
We passed the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You had to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. 
Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. That way. Educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. 
I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns.
Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm.